we do this every year. We bring people from all over the world. Military, law enforcement, and independent researchers get together and share tools, tactics, and procedures that are being used by malicious adversaries out in the world. There's people playing video games. There's people setting up cryptocurrency miners. It started with a small group of us meeting at Florida International University, eventually evolved into the Hack Miami Conference today, as well as a consulting firm of hackers from all over the world that are networked through the organization. Thank you to our sponsors, Optip, Jask. The conference is set up with two tracks, speakers and topics. All of the attacks. To capture the insider threat. Modeling our adversary. Showing the next emerging threats for the upcoming years and showcasing that. And then upstairs is sort of the, the more social kind of atmosphere. We have what's known as a capture the flag tournament. I have several virtualized operating systems and these teams basically hack into them. It's oftentimes based off of things that members of Hack Miami have done in real life, things such as the hacking of terrorist networks, the attacking of organized crime groups. We put these together as reenactments in the game. You can actually hack into systems without facing legal consequences. They extract a file that we call flag. This flag has a value that then is posted in a scoreboard. Oftentimes, the winners will end up spoken to or recruited by both government and uh, private sector that are looking for people with those, those skill sets. I joined Hack Miami around the age of 15. I'm a student. I'm learning a lot. You can have a conversation that will teach you more than a university. Hacking is a way of thinking. We use your imagination to make it do things that no one even thought you could do. There's white hats out there that protect us, and there's black hats out there that expose vulnerabilities and attack it for their own game. For me, hacking is about a symmetry. A guy that can write 10 lines of code can defeat a billion dollar company. And that is power. And that is a balancing act. I think hackers have a function to be the guardians of the internet. Oh yeah, and also outside of that, we're on the beach, so. It's yeah, <laughs> we're, we're in Miami, tell me about we're that. We're in Miami.